Time now for a look at what happened in politics today. New reports from Canada's Auditor General show the federal government is failing Indigenous communities when it comes to housing and policing. In her latest audits to Parliament, Karen Hogan states Indigenous Services Canada and the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation have made little progress in improving housing conditions in First Nations communities over the last 20 years. After four audit reports, I can honestly say that I am completely discouraged that so little has changed and that so many First Nations individuals and families continue to live in substandard homes. There is progress, it is being made, but there is so much work to do. The housing challenge for First Nations is not a simple solution, it requires systemic change. Hogan also says Public Safety Canada is not meeting its policing obligations to First Nations and Inuit peoples by leaving millions of program dollars unspent. That is leading to staffing shortages and underserved communities. Ottawa is contributing $40 million to a Czechia-led initiative to help Ukraine buy large caliber ammunition rounds. The Defence Minister Bill Blair making that announcement after participating virtually in the 20th Ukraine Defence Contact Group meeting. Our $40 million contribution is going to enable the rapid delivery of several thousand rounds of artillery ammunition to Ukraine and most importantly the ammunition that they have told us that they require. Canada is also donating a package of night vision equipment worth about $7.5 million to help Ukraine's military with its nighttime operations. And finally tonight, Roy McMurtry, a giant of Ontario's political and legal communities, has died at 91. McMurtry was known for using his positions in law and politics to advance social causes, including bilingualism and same-sex marriage. A lawyer turned progressive conservative member of provincial parliament, McMurtry was Ontario's attorney general for 10 years, then high commissioner to the UK, before being named to Ontario's court of appeal first as an Associate Chief Justice and then as Chief Justice.